Today, we're gonna to be going over how you can create these crazy whiteout effects super easily and efficiently. We have these four Kodak Black clips here, and we're gonna be creating a quick little edit using the Whiteout Effects V2 pack. If you guys do wanna go grab it, it is linked in the description below. Now, the way I like to pull off these effects is if we go through, right where the beat hits right here, drop this here, right click on it, go over to add frame hold and then extend it. As you guys can see here, it freezes that frame just like that. That's gonna give us a lot of space to add our whiteout effects onto this layer here. We can open up our objects here and we have a lot of stuff to mess around with. If we just hover through, you guys can see what we can put on here and put them like right here. And all you're really doing is just building a really creative whiteout scene here. So if we go back into the whiteout effects we do pack and we go over to faces here, you have a bunch of stuff we can put on top of his face so i'm gonna go ahead i like the x's there but let's see if we can find something cooler i think this will be cool for his mouth here honestly there's so much stuff in here to mess around with that you guys can add to the scene with so let's say these triple x's here we go and click on them go into effect controls and then resize them and then i'm gonna speed them up as well really Honestly, I just recommend you guys go through, customize it to your own liking. Don't follow exactly what I do, obviously, but you can take some inspiration from it. There's so much stuff in here to mess around with, so just go in and go ham. Go into the transitions folder. There's a lot of different transitions that you can use. So for example, if you want to transition out of this, and then right where this hit hits here, same thing again, right click, frame hold options, extend it, and it's going to hold. And then for that 808 there, bring in our next one here. And then for this 808, right click, frame hold, okay. I'm gonna go through, sauce the rest of these up, and then I'll show you guys how you can create crazy transitions to add a lot of motion to them. And I do recommend throwing like a paper overlay texture on everything just to make it blend a little bit better. And right where that hits there, we'll go and put the paper texture again, put the zoom, and we'll make the zoom a little bit different. Let's throw this one on Kodak. Going back into markups here, you can just throw something like this around the border like that. And then this as a markup as well, right? But then what we can do is if we click on this here, go over to opacity, we can cut out Kodak here and invert it. And then bring down the mass expansion to the side a bit. I want this to start a little bit earlier. And then right where this one hits as well, we can drag and drop our zoom in and our paper texture back on there. Cool. If we go back into markups here, maybe something like this we can put starting out like there and then going into effect controls and just throw it in the corner to fill this void here. And if we duplicate it one more time and then start it from like here, maybe put it right there. And if we take what we have so far and we bring it into After Effects, I'm going to drag and drop it in here just like so. And now once we have this in here, we're going to go ahead and sauce it up with some Shake Sauce. Now, if you guys do not know what Shake Sauce is, I highly recommend you guys go check it out. It's honestly the most fire extension for After Effects. You guys can get it linked in the description below. Now, we're going to go ahead and create a new adjustment layer just like so. We're going to go to right before where this hits and we're going to go over to our Shake Sauce here and I'm going to go on and throw on the hard hit with Flash just by double clicking. Now, it's going to load for a second and it'll be put on the adjustment layer and we'll have this really cool shake effect on our clip that'll really emphasize the transition and make it a lot more noticeable and stand out if we hit you on our keyboard here our keyframes will show up if we go ahead and play that through and we want it to hit a little bit more on the beat so i'm just going to highlight all these keyframes now we're going to create another adjustment layer here just like so we're going to go in between these two clips and we're going to double click and put on the quick hit with flash for this one so less of an intense shake because this one is more subtle so if we hit you and we bring these over we can play it through and then we're gonna create another adjustment layer here. We're gonna throw on the hard hit with flash for this one. Boom, boom, it's on there. Just make sure it hits accurately. And boom, as you guys can see, we have these crazy hits that just add so much more energy to this. And now we're gonna export this out and bring it back into Premiere Pro to do some sound design. Now the sound design is really gonna sell it. All right, so with this back in here now, we're just gonna go ahead and open it up in its own sequence just by nesting it, double clicking on it and boom, it's in here. Now those shakes just make it next level and just to add to them a little bit where the drawings come in, what we're gonna do is just add some drawing effects here. I'm gonna go in and throw some sound design in here. I have a couple of sound design packs linked in the description below if you guys do wanna go check them out. So just going into here, this paper movement right here and then a camera shutter as well. I do recommend going through and playing with the audio gain to get them to your liking. And then I think we can just duplicate the same thing here. And then we'll do a different paper grab for this one and then different camera shutter for this one. And then you know what we should do? We should honestly bring this one to the middle just to separate it. And then once they hear the new one, we'll go back to the OG one, so. 
highlighting everything honestly i'm just going to bring it down by five super sick and then just to add a little bit more sauce to it guys we're going to be checking out my new pack my whooshes from my whoosh pack now if we just drag these the best whooshes you'll ever use in here and then the risers as well you can go ahead and mess around with these just throw that whoosh on there just like that we can go ahead and then turn it down to about minus 10. Let's go with a random whoosh, whoosh 20 here. Just playing around with the whooshes and the gain of them. Look for another quick one, so this one should work. And then bring this one down to minus 10. And then boom, as you guys can see, this is without sound design. And if you really add the sound design, it just takes it to a whole nother level, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more high quality tutorials just like this to step up your edits, I recommend subscribing and checking out one of these two videos linked above. All the editing packs used in this will be linked in the description below if you guys do want to go check them out. My website is down there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.